It's time for fear porn. Brown chicken, brown cow. Oh, it's bad news bears. CNN is back to selling more panic porn, but few are enticed. Yeah, apparently there's a new Canadian variant that... It's going to be the worst one yet. We're all going to die. Uh, Okay, now listen. I've had the COVID three times. I don't know what strains they were. Did I have long COVID for about eight months? Yes. But I never missed... I I missed a couple of streams because of migraines, but... You know, I was able to work through it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and you're. Guess what? You're still here. I'm still here. I've had it at least twice, and the second time, I didn't even realize I had it. Yeah. There, there was just a positive result, so I was like, eh, "Whatever." You want to watch the extended cut of Lord of the Rings? Sure. All right, man. Let's just put that up. If you take one a day. five thousand IU's of vitamin D a day. Within six weeks, your uh, residual vitamin D in your bloodstream will be at a level where you probably are not going to have egregious reactions to any viruses that attack you. Mm -hmm. That's what vitamin D does. Yeah, and zinc too. Yeah, and and a lot of the minorities or the people of color who have melanin that blocks the sun so they already have critically low vitamin D got absolutely savaged. Because of that simple fact. You can go to CVS, buy a bottle of vitamin D for 20 bucks that will last you two to three months. There you go. And uh, get yourself some of that quercetin zinc for flu season, and it should keep you healthy. Or at the very least, if you do get sick, it's not going to hit you as hard. Well, the quercetin actually assists your cells in absorbing the zinc. Yes. And that zinc, once it's inside those cells... Short circuits, a lot of viruses, reproduction methods. Exactly. Uh, but don't tell that to the medical experts who totally have your best interests in mind. That They're totally not selling you up the river for profit or anything. So they're trying to claim now that this new variant is causing a huge summer spike. Oh my gosh, COVID's on the rise again as the world approaches the fourth virus season since the virus arrived on the scene. Yeah, there's only one problem. Um, If you actually look at the cases here, see this right here was January, February of this year when you would expect to see a rise in things like flu, pneumonia, COVID, yada, yada. Uh, This is where we're supposed to believe it's on the rise again. This flat line right here at the bottom. And here's another thing. The virus is in the wild now. It's going to mutate. Yeah. And most of the time, it's going to mutate in a way where it becomes more more virulent, but not as deadly. Yeah. It, it's more transmissible, yeah. but because of that, it has to be weaker. Correct. Because yeah. you can't proliferate if you're killing your host. That's exactly what, why a lot of the original COVID-19 that was, you know, wrecking a bunch of people yeah you know it mostly in italy yeah within a year though it it had pretty much burned itself out and its variants were now going exactly and then if you go to countries like well or continents like africa there's virtually no covid whatsoever and virtually no vaccines yeah (gasps) oh no oh no that's almost like a narrative killer it's almost like the mainstream media won't tell you that So stop, I mean, just the responses. No one cares anymore. Stop trying to resurrect this garbage. They will do anything to justify an all-mail-in ballot election. No one's buying what they're selling. Perfect timing with an election around the corner, just like four years ago. CNN is counting on the average American to be scared and demand mail-in ballots. Oh, President Biden, please save me from the COVID monster. Give me a break. Yeah. Uh, and then there's even more of it here. Enough of the COVID fear mongering. This is a good one here. Let me, like, no, we don't need mask mandates to cope with every new variant. Why? Because they don't fucking work. And we proved that during the so-called pandemic. Well, here's the thing about the masks. They probably work for about a half an hour. If that. And then by the, then they're just full of, like, your breath spit and whatever. And yep. That's it. it. It quits working. And... One of the things that they, once again, refuse to talk about is that the rise of fungal infections, specifically in children, skyrocketed Mm -hmm. with mask mandates. Correct. While things like IQ, reading aptitude, all of that, down. Mm -hmm. 
Because when, you know, if you can't see somebody's mouth, your language comprehension, if you're a child, gets Goes down. Yeah. You can't tell me that wasn't on purpose. I mean, well, they told us to stay inside when the sun, by itself, replenishes your body with vitamin A and D, which makes you more resistant to things like the flu, yes. cold, all that stuff. They knew that. Yep. They made sure that we couldn't go to the good stores with the good food, and we all had to eat shit. Once again, that tank can tank your immunity. They knew exactly what they were doing. This was a depopulation gambit and an election gambit. I would have to agree with you. It's just ridiculous, man. And uh, It's just hilarious. And then, really, what it all boils down to is just like the definitions of words... When you expose what they really mean, all of a sudden you're a problem. Well, what does a what does the pandemic what did it truly yield? One hundred and twenty thousand American children died suddenly after the shots roll out. Correct, and the, and we've been harp we've been screaming this from yep. the very goddamn beginning. Yep. And this was uh, August 11th right here. Ninety two percent of COVID deaths in 2022 were from triple vaxxed people. Yep. They will not tell you that in the lamestream media. In fact, they will flip that statistic on its head and claim it's the other way around. I've seen it. Yep. Spike in miscarriages and stillbirths directly linked. Oh, I got to make sure these are up on the screen. Yeah. 120,000 Americans. I want to make sure everybody can see these here. Died suddenly after that. 92% of COVID deaths, triple vaxxed. It's on Slay News. Yep. Spike in miscarriages and stillbirths directly linked to COVID shots, study finds. Yep. Heart injuries from COVID shots, 3,000. Thousand times higher. Do you want to know what that claimed? Do you want to know what that stat really is? Hmm. One in every thirty-five people have heart irritation from this vaccine. Yep. One in thirty-five. Yeah, but you know you can trust them to keep you safe. Yeah, you know the, the leftoids what we're screaming for years about how big farm is evil, corporations are evil. But for some reason, during Pride Month, all the corporations are okay. And during COVID, Big Pharma was suddenly Jesus Christ. Yep. Give me a fucking break. Listen, they, they're literally just mindless zombies now. Yep. The, the left is nothing but zombie sheeple. And here we go. Topping it right off. Jabs killed 13 million globally. Of course, what I found when I was actually looking for this was USA Today... Cock blocking. Oh, it's not true. Uh -huh. I promise it's not. <laughs> Listen, the mainstream media is pretty much on their last leg. Nobody, nobody believes them anymore. Yep. They're just peddling propaganda. Even Fox yep. News. In India alone, deaths of three point seven million people. Why do you think they're getting ready to like kill their leaders in India? Well, no, that they there's... were doing fine when they were dishing out ivermectin. When they switched to the jab, this started happening. But but the people. Who who said who recommended the ivermectin in, yeah. in this? Uh, uh, the rumor is they are on trial for their lives. Yeah, and they should be. Yep. Oh, it just goes on and on, man. Oh, let me get this out of here. And here's one from the expose just in America. Yep. Secret CDC report reveals at least 1.1 million have died suddenly since yeah, and the poke listen, rollout. The insurance companies have updated their mortuary tables in regards to this yep. because money's on the line. Exactly. In in fact, you know, I be, was that, I'm trying to uh, remember who the person was. It basically told me that there are certain insurance companies that are upping your premium if you did receive the COVID vaccine shot because there's more risk because yep. one out of every 35 people gets heart irritation. Yep. And you know, most of the time that is self-correcting, but if you don't know you have it and you say you're an athlete and you're working out and then you drop dead on the field. Mm -hmm. And Ugh. they get these numbers from the excess deaths. Yes, at, at which all of those are in here. Mm -hmm. So when I found the USA Today article trying to claim that this was all bullshit, I was like, well, literally the, the CDC's charts are all here. Correct. And they're all <clears throat> color-coded and sourced out and explained. So according to the CDC, by week 52 of 2020, America suffered 3.35 million deaths. Yep. And then the following year... After the vaccines rolled out. Deaths, yeah. It's even more deaths. 
way more. It just keeps going and going. And some and some of these uh, some of these countries are experiencing fifteen, twenty percent spikes above the five year moving average yep. in deaths. Yeah. Something. Listen, this is serious shit here. You are literally being exterminated, and you're com- being complacent in it. Yep. And see this right here, the the deaths that you see here, this is what you would expect to see Mm -hmm. from the rollout of the poke, which was December 2020, up through week 38 of 2022. And then the excess deaths tallied this much. You notice how we went from excess deaths in 2020, Mm -hmm. which was allegedly going to be like the biggest year of excess deaths ever because we were all going to die from the variants, right? But then the following year, boom. Yeah, that's uh, almost a tenfold increase. Holy crap. But, you know, you can trust USA Today to give you the news, right? They're totally not part of the apparatus that's owned by, what, six companies? <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, th- yeah, they're doing nothing but pushing propaganda. Yep. And I mentioned this earlier, too. New York Times admits that the official COVID deaths were overcounted by 30%. Of course, this is an article that's going to get relegated to, like, page 148. So what they did is they overcounted by 30% to pump up the fear. Yep. And then they then herd the scared sheep into their slaughter pens. And now that people don't really care anymore, well, now we can admit that you were right. Mm. (laughs) Uh, And it's all for profit. Pfizer now wants to cash in on the cardiovascular treatments as heart attack deaths skyrocket. Are you shocked? <laughs> of course they're going to do that. I mean, that's a, there's mm-hmm. a lot of money in that. They sell you the curse and then sell you the cure. Well, they're not actually going to cure it. No, oh, they're, they're just, just going to manage it. it. Yeah. Because there's no money in curing a disease. And some of these heart injuries don't ever get better. No. The heart is a really tricky organ. Yep. So, I mean, more uh. than likely, that's going to be the thing that kills the popster, but well, it runs in my family. Yeah, shit happened. You know, and I'm cool with it, man. It, it is, is what it is. is. I mean, you're you got what another ten years left? You're checking out at sixty five, right? Uh, yeah, it's right around there. You know, sixty five and out. Because after sixty five, those years just aren't very good. Yeah. You know, unless I'm, you know, living and and enjoying myself. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll just ask for a reassignment. Get yourself another one of those uh, meatball subs with the extra jalapenos and onions, so you can turn your ass into a water cannon. I was making fun of him before the show because I went into the the kitchen to get my Guinness, and I look, and there's like six huge cans of spicy salsa on the counter. I'm like, the fuck are you doing? He's like, I'm going to make my chili. And I was like, oh, this is like turn your ass into a water cannon chili? Like just make like a huge vat? He's like, yeah, pretty much. I was like, dude, you keep eating like that. You're going to need to install handlebars next to your toilet just so you have something to hold on to. (laughs) You know, this morning I actually thought that. I'm like, this is getting serious. You install like, oh shit handles like they have in the back seats of the SUV. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you're giving birth. <laughs> yeah, oh, crazy shit. Either. They're going to reprogram that fucking uh, flashing blue light over at the 7 Eleven to warn people away from the stench emanating from the second floor of this house. Mm. Please stay away. Pop is taking a huge chili dump. Yeah, watch out. Watch out and uh, make sure that you are not parked near any sewage hole covers. <laughs> Look like somebody dropping a cherry bomb in the school toilet. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, here we go. Here's but dis- here we go. Despite all of that wholesale taxpayer funded right, murder. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That butt mm. looks like it's old. It Don't is. show that butt again. That's fine. Well, as I say, despite all that taxpayer-funded moita, here we go. I mean, and you know, d- deaths of despair, things like that. I mean, we all know now that the lockdowns caused more death than they ever could have possibly prevented. Yeah. That is an objective fact. Apparently, we're thinking about doing it again. Correct. And uh, Tim Pool recently, I think it was on X, I got a notification earlier, 33 minutes before it was posted by him. I'm going to double check this notification Uh, here. uh, Uh, From WhiteHouse.gov, National COVID-19 Preparedness Plan was updated 33 minutes before the screen grab. mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we're going to bring back full restrictions and roll out to begin mid-September. How about fuck 
you. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Look, I mean, we're, we're, we've already crippled our economy. Yeah. What do you think is going to fucking happen when you do that again? Yeah. Wait, what are we going to do? More inflation? Yeah. That- More excess deaths? Of despair, more people dying from drug addiction and alcohol poisoning because th- you're forcing them to stay inside their homes under yeah. threat of tyranny. Yeah, sounds like a free country to me. I'm sorry, but we are no longer a free country if this can ever happen again. Yeah. This is ridiculous. So, like I said before, non compliance, peaceful non compliance is the way to go. Refuse. Correct. To accept this bullshit. The only reason that it worked before is because we were all afraid. We had we didn't know what the hell was going on, and we were all in the same boat. Now we know. Yep. We know it's bullshit. We know it's just the common cold. It didn't kill most of the people who claimed to have been, you know, they claimed were killed by it. And we know that the the cure was just a depopulation agenda. Mm-hmm. It's sterilizing women, sterilizing men. It's killing people. We're we're seeing 11, 12, 13-year-old kids falling dead from heart attacks just doing practice warm-ups for basketball. Yeah, uh, it's heartbreaking. I mean, there's whole montages on Rumble, BitChute, like 40 minutes long of just showing people dying on camera. Yeah. I mean, and, and some of them are really are doing that weird thing where all, like, all of a sudden it's like something gets their attention and then they start spinning. Yeah. And we're, I've even seen animals do that. Yeah. Animals who have been forced to take this shit in zoos. Yeah. yeah what could go wrong? Yeah. Right? I don't, I don't know, man. It's, Bing! That shit's messed up. Non-compliance. Seriously. Do not let this happen again. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm looking at you, California Stan. You actually gave me a little glimmer of hope when Newsom said, no 4th of July for you. And you mother fornicators let off your fireworks anyway. <laughs> Keep that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they want to try to close the stores? Fine. <laughs> back door, open back door is an invitation, right? <laughs> that's, what, uh, that's what Pops X always used to say. Hey, hey, you're going to be <laughs> sued, man. Allegedly, allegedly. What can I say? Open back door, shit happens. <laughs> Watch Gruntspeak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box. 